everybody, so it's been a year since I uploaded a flipping through my wife's sketchbook video and since then she's done a lot of work. You guys have seen her in some of my live drawing videos, drawing with me and stuff like that. So I thought it would be fun to go through and look at some of her newer artwork and maybe even how it compares to that last sketchbook that I did. Uh, so yeah, let's just start flipping through and um, looking at some of the things she's improved upon and just maybe some differences in the work she's done. So just gonna open this as on Strathmore Tone Tan paper, which I got her started on. She likes it a lot, but her newer sketchbook is actually on white paper, so. Um, but this is, uh, I think this one's like six or seven months old, this sketchbook right here. So uh, first drawing is this one right here which one of the things uh, we had kind of, she and I had talked about together is how she does the eyes. Um, in this sketch, she, the face is much more proportionate and the eyes, there's a little bit of a gap here uh, from the edge of the face. This is the sketchbook that I did, she did uh, the first time through. Look at the difference between that and that. One of the things, you know, we had talked about is maybe moving the eyes in a little bit because one thing having the eyes go all the way to the edge like that is it flattens the face out quite a bit. So you can see this face is a little bit more believable, a little bit more round. She still has her style, her cartoony style to it, just a little bit more believable. Um, so yeah, and I think that's a really good uh, comparison from her old or her new to kind of her old stuff. And I'll kind of flip through when I see references that I think, you know, will help us understand how she's improved. So I need to, so here's some pencil sketches. So one thing I noticed when we were kind of talking about is she does revert back to that. And I think every artist does that. They'll develop a style and sometimes it's, you know, it's just bad habits or things that they want to change, but they sometimes revert back to it. I do that too, so. Uh, again, you can see the face shape is just a little bit better. And like I said, this, this sketchbook's uh, about six months old and even her newer stuff is um, even a little bit better than this too. So I like the colors in this one a lot though. And she's always experimenting with um, mixing watercolors, markers, and colored pencil and stuff. And these ones look like she does some colored pencil work in there. She's always really good with colors though. Um, I like the orange and the purple together on this one. It's a nice profile. One thing she was, I like the tattoo on this one as well. One thing she worked on was her profile pictures, um, which are a lot better than they used to be. Some more sketches. That one's kind of cool. I like the eyes on that one. There's some black and white ink washes. I like it when she does these. It just kind of adds interest, shows that she's working on value and stuff like that. This so one, little problem with the face there. That should have been a little bit more rounded. But the hair's cool. I like the hair on that one. The hand's really great on this one. I love the hand. Um, you can see she didn't finish the lines right there, which is a Cool, really cool stylistic choice, but you can see the hand's very natural. It's a great hand on this one. It's a sketch. Another value. A little bit better on the face right there on that three quarter view. The hat is great on this one. I like these. She does these littler sketches on some of her pages. Um, and I feel like sometimes she does a better job uh, working a little bit smaller um, when it comes to the figures and the bodies and the proportions and stuff. Uh, this is super cute cat right there. I like how it's stylized that is. These are some great sketches down here. These ones right here. Again, this one's a great hand. Uh, she was working on hands. Um, I love the tattoo. This is really similar to that other one. But this is a really great drawing right here. Uh, the eyes aren't too close to the edge. Um, 
just it's got a lot of uh, different value in there with the dress and the dark eyes and the eyebrows real thick eyebrows on that one which she always gives me a hard time about making thick eyebrows so but I like the way it looks great drawing I like the white uh, where she doesn't do an outline around the background just kind of subtle white stuff in the back and that's the tone tan you know using that as a mid-tone and using the white to kind of like just add a little bit of interesting type stuff in there some more of these these are like little burlesque superhero girls it looks like a little bat girl I don't know maybe she was planning her Halloween costume <laughs> so this is another great ink wash uh, mess around with some dupe flowers in the background things like that it's always great to look at other people's artwork I like the way she does these flowers they're different than the way I do them but I like I like the way they look it's kind of like a interesting elf girl great hands she's doing super awesome on the hands so that's it for this sketchbook and this was like I said this was the oldest one and so in between her newest one and this one is she was doing these small little watercolors uh, which you can tell a lot of times she'll do um, watercolor on that Strathmore drawing paper and it warps the paper a lot these are a lot better to work on for sure this is actual watercolor paper and I think you can tell you can see the difference she's able to let the watercolors bleed a little better gives it more of that natural watercolor look Oh, this one's beautiful. I love this one. Love the colors. I like that the, just the eyes are showing. And again, you can see the space between the eyes and the head. Um, just makes gives it a little bit more round look. A little more natural. It's another good one. Um, space between the eyes a lot better. Just the whole where she puts the lips, the nose. Um, that's one thing I picked up from her is I sometimes make my nose too far from the lips. And so I think her girls, that was one thing I thought they looked cuter, just the spacing in the nose to the lips. Um, so that's something I picked up from her. So this is her newest sketchbook. This is on white paper. And some of these are just, like this one's gorgeous. I love this one. The face is, she's looking off to the right. That's something new. She hadn't done that before. The face structure is really good. Slight angle of the face. This is just her drawings are getting a little bit more natural, a little bit more flow to them. That's cute. I was just messing around trying to figure out the hand pose on that. I was like going like this off camera. The angle of the arm coming down there just threw me off a bit. That's a little bit better profile than the last ones. There's a little bit more uh, shape in the face rather than just a vertical. It's a different, more natural face. Oh, that one's great. That's a different cute cat. So Kara draws a lot of the same stuff. Okay, so this is a throwback one. And that's because I think she was working on the three quarter, but you can see the eye goes all the way to the edge of the head. And it flattens that eye out. It flattens the, the head out a little bit. So that's, you know, like I said, every time when that happens, it's just bad habits kind of. Oh, this one's interesting. She's got cactuses in her hair. That's awesome. Great pose. This is a really good pose. She rarely draws this much of the body, which I, th I think she should do more often just to get out of her... Because she... And she'll tell you this, too. She draws in her comfort zone. Like, But she draws because she really enjoys just drawing and the things she draws. But sometimes it's really fun to get outside your comfort zone and draw more. And like this one, she drew the whole figure. And I think it's great. It's awesome. She's got a nice tilt to the hips. Um, and the shoulder drops down to the high hip, which is the way it should be. You can see she drew her angle lines on there. So she was definitely thinking about that. So that's great figure. Now nope. do the same thing again. Very good figure again. You were working on the figure on this one? Yeah, remember? See, this one's, that one's really good. Look at that slight angle on that hip. Uh, how it's turned out like that. This is a great pose. And the hand's awesome as well. Very good structure on the hand. Sketches, really good ones. I like these ones. I love the hair on this one. It flows, it feels natural. It's not just static. Again, the eyes a little bit close to the edge on this one again, but again, like I said, it's something just come, sometimes goes back to. This one's an interesting face. That's good. That one's really good natural 
beautiful. How can we continue on that one more? That one's pretty. So we've kind of flipped through all the drawings and I thought it'd be fun to compare a few drawings. Um, this is from the original sketchbook that I showed you guys and this is like her newer drawing. Uh, but they're very similar drawings so a good comparison. You can just see all kinds of just improvements. The line work, so she's using a brush pin on this one and you can see it's really, she gets a real thick and nice gradual uh, taper to a thinner line. Um, just the face structure is much better and this isn't a super great one for that original sketchbook but they look similar uh, so you can just see all kinds of improvements the shoulders just everything how natural it is um, I mean the eyes obviously the eyes are closed on this one but just where they're placed on the head uh, just vast improvement and one interesting thing Karen and I were just talking about was that you know if she draws and like really works on drawing for a while, but then leaves for a while. It's just like anything. It's almost like she loses ground a little bit and then she picks it up. And by losing ground, I mean she like will revert back to some of the mistakes she was making. And then after draw getting back into drawing for a little bit, she'll realize that and fix it. But I, f I find that with myself as well is if I stop drawing for a month or something, I definitely lose ground. I forget the things I was working on. Um, you really have to like really focus on things for a long period of time to really make them part of the way you draw, part of your habit. A couple other great to compare. This is her old sketchbook, Mermaid, and this is a new one. Um, you can just see how much better at the figure she is, how much more portion, proportionate it is, uh, the head, everything, um, how much better the eyes are, the eye angle, the nose, look at how uh, the nose on this one compares to this one. Um, even the lips, uh, she flattens the lips out here at the angle. These ones, she's still trying to figure out how to put those lips on a three-quarter angle face. Um, just the hair is amazing. I love how she went with kind of like a, a squared off, edged type of outline on this. Um, it really like is a nice contrast to the flow of the rest of the hair. Um, the body is just hands down a m much better, much better body. So that's a good comparison to how much she's improved. Okay, so for the last comparison one, um, we got this one and this one. And I mean, just look at, look at these two drawings. It's amazing to me. Uh, and you forget, especially when it's over a year, how much you've improved. And just looking at these two drawings, uh, this one's at least a year old, this drawing is, uh, how much better she's gotten. Um, I mean, the, it's just so much more natural. The head tilt, the hair is so much better, it flows so much better. Um, just She's drawing the little strands that add so much interest to the drawing. Uh, the eyes are immensely better. The nose is so much, uh, it's stylized, but it still has that that style quality that she's after um, and the lips I just love the lips she doesn't do one thing she and I talked about was not doing the outline around the top of the lip like she did here and it helps that she's doing a wash here but she avoids that in a lot of drawings um, and it, it's just a much more natural I think beautiful look um, but yeah, I mean, overall, you can. I feel like she's improved a ton. Uh, I mean, I think you guys can see that it's pretty obvious uh, over the last year. So it just goes to show you, you know, you, you gotta you gotta work at drawing. You gotta draw a lot, but you gotta be um, cognitive of the the things that you're doing wrong. You have to point out those issues that you have and do your best to fix them. And sometimes you'll revert back to those. Like I said, once you create a bad habit, it seems to come back and come back. Eventually, I think you, you slowly get rid of that, but uh, she's made so many improvements. One of the other things she talked about improving was she would make her head really large compared to the bodies. And she's gotten away from that a little bit so that you know it's a little bit more proportionate to the rest of the body. It gives her a little bit more natural look and I feel like that natural look is nice when you add in that kind of little bit of cartoony style to it as well. Uh, I think it just, 
it pairs well. And so I, I really am enjoying her newer work. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.